part two of the 3D printed RC jet boat that was successful, apart from that it only ran for a couple of minutes. It's so nice to drive. Luckily, one of you viewers came through, a guy called Florian from, uh, from Germany, I believe, and he told me that he could repair the broken coupler. Basically, an adapter going from the motor shaft to the uh, propeller shaft and connects the two, that's the black thing. That's basically an adapter connects the two rods. I 3D printed that coupler in hopes that it would be strong enough, pretty stupid to begin with. Florian could do one better. He made one out of aluminium. Well, there's your problem. All right, all right, here we have it in working order once again. Let's do a quick recap in case you haven't seen the last video. Uh, this one, this is a 3D printed RC boat that we 3D printed on the CR10S5. It has a impeller system going on, which is uh, kind of cool because that means that the propeller is protected as well as you don't need a rudder straight down in the water. You can have a thrust vectoring mechanism like this. It's uh, controlled by a servo in there and it tilts this uh, bracket right here, left and right, to control the stream and therefore turn the boat left to right. And uh, that proved to work really well last time I tested. 3D printed compartment for the battery to be placed. There we have the electric speed controller that is connected to the motor. It's a brushless motor that I salvaged from uh, one of my RC cars. The blue thing is a heat sink to dissipate the heat faster. Uh, and uh, in here we have the uh, receiver. It's protected with a 3D printed casing that we also made. And uh, last but not least we have the uh, coupler that I feel is uh, not going to be the thing to break. Uh, something else will. But tomorrow we are heading out on the lake with the raft. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I have everything packed. The DJI Mavic, the LiPo batteries, 360 camera, some GoPros. That's all you need to make some videos. And I think the weather was supposed to be pretty good. So fingers crossed. See you again tomorrow. I mounted, I mounted the non-waterproof 360 camera on the hatch, so it's now very top heavy, so hopefully I won't roll over. I'm gonna take it really easy the first run. I mounted it on the hatch, so hopefully we get some good onboard video. I have all the systems running, so let's put it in the water, test it. I'm gonna take it really easy, just the first turns to see if, uh, if everything is holding up. Uh, but let's go. Do you see the smile on my face? <laughs> Holy sh that worked better. It's not dead, not yet. And I cannot describe it and it doesn't translate that well into video either. But I hope you can see it. It's just crazy responsive and I mean I've been driving quite a bit of RC boat in, in the past and it feels nothing like it. This one is the nicest boat by far I've ever driven. And it's a self-made 3D printed RC boat. Like how crazy is that?
Just if anyone was wondering, the slow motion that I've shot on this video and in the last one, uh, I've been using the OnePlus 6 phone. It does 480 frames per second, even though I think the Samsung does even better. It's printed entirely with PLA plastic, you know, might not last 100 years, but as a fun toy, it certainly qualifies. And now, meh, I don't know, drive it till it dies, I guess. Why do these things always happen to me? Where's the propeller? Uh, I was just shooting some drone footage, so I didn't have any other cameras active at the moment. And the propeller, I just heard the sound, terrible sound. And the propeller absolutely shattered. Out of all the things that could fail, I, I would see the propeller going next. It lasted way longer than before and the coupler held up great. That was the whole idea of this video. Uh, now we just need to find a new propeller, which I don't think, judging that the diameter of the outlet is not standard, I don't think I will be able to find a propeller to purchase that is made out of uh, molded plastic or, or even metal. So I probably have to use a different filament, which I do have some PC filament. That's supposed to be pretty strong. Uh, it's supposed to be not as brittle as PLA is, which PLA is pretty brittle. If you give PLA a good punch, it'll break eventually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as I did making it. I will be working on improving the propeller to make it work 100%, probably experimenting with different filaments to make it as tough as possible. But a great day, great fun. So have an awesome day, bye.